hey guys it's phase one once again with another video so today i kind of wanted to go over the upcoming features that are meant to come with star season alpha 316 so now let me be honest real quick just to start off the bat usually the q4 patches are very light and this one is looking very skinny to me so um we're gonna go through we're gonna see what's coming and i believe there will be some more features added to this um but uh yeah let's let's go through it and let's see what's what's currently coming so the very first feature that uh they have here is the dna head texture update so it looks like the characters um faces are just going to be looking a lot better um so it says implementing art updates for dna archetype heads that will improve the quality of all DNA heads, both player and common NPC. So that's that's uh that's nice. I would um, I'm interested to see how they're going to improve upon this. So um right now it says tentative, but I believe that should also make it into that patch. Um so two two locations were added. Um area 18 hospital. Um yeah, this is this is something that they mentioned that they will have to add. So um, this is not a surprise to me. Okay, so the very next um, feature are the derelict space, um, derelict uh, spaceships and points of interest. So, um, so it says points of interest that will be scattered on planets. They will be derelict space spaceships with some type of activity puzzle, traversal, and some type of reward for resolving said activity that is awesome this is one of the exciting things i'm really i'm um, looking forward to in 316 as we will now have reasons to actually go out and explore and have reasons to to open that final loot box in in some of the uh more hidden crevices or more dangerous areas of these derelict space stations so i'm curious to see what what kind of cool interesting loot we can find in there all right so the very next one so now this we're gonna go into game gameplay now in terms of gameplay they updated the dying star they did uh the the other one last patch so now they're gonna be updating the dying star to look more similar to what pyro bay looked like um but uh it looks pretty interesting i can't wait to get my hands on that um the grab lag physics rework so a significant rework of the flight and driving model of the grab lag vehicles when hovering the aim to improve the general feel and stability result in a far better experience for players using hover bikes this is awesome because sometimes it's hard to get hover bikes on your ships because of the um the heights that it's always at so hopefully they can add a feature where um, an option where you can lower it to as low as possible to the ground in order to fit it into um, any of your ships, really. Um, it will be great, especially with the 400 eyes. Sometimes they're very, it's very finicky once you put it into the bike um, hanger for the 400 eyes. So I'm kind of curious to see how this will improve things. All right. Jump Town 2. This is also another big one. So this is going to be awesome. This is going to really encourage some serious pvp it looks like the whole area is going to be updated so it's going to be really great for on foot combat infantry combat and what's going to happen is so let's let's just quickly read it, it says implementation of the jump town 2.0 a new dynamic event in the persistent universe inspired by a historic event of jump town this new event featured both lawful and unlawful mission paths awesome okay so there's laughing enough i thought it was just a free-for-all straight up just like that but that's good at least there's reason for lawful players to also go there as well so that's really good so what it is is there's going to be different groups of players that are going to go there and get interesting um very very expensive um drugs or commodities there i would say and um it's going to be a set amount and the players whoever gets there first can take it and go um, so what's what that's gonna incite what that's gonna create is a dynamic event in such where players are gonna be fighting over this limited commodities and uh it's gonna be interesting so we're gonna i'm gonna i'm sure we're gonna see hammerheads dominating the area and we're gonna see a2s we're gonna see 
stealth fighters we're gonna see heavy fighters light fighters it's gonna be we're gonna see on foot combat between teams of people and it's gonna be very interesting so i'm curious to see how this is gonna pan out i'm very excited about this one all right so and lastly um they're adding laser trip mines tier zero so implementing laser trip mines into the game which explodes that use light beams as trigger when someone or something comes into contact with the beam the mines go boom awesome so hopefully we can buy these these items and, and plant them ourselves i believe these will also be at the derelict sites as well so um i'm also interested to seeing and, and playing around with, with these as well all right yeah so if you haven't already make sure to subscribe to the channel leave a like on this video to help the algorithm of this video all right hopefully i will see you guys on the next one